Hey guys, welcome to another video in the Free Sky series, and today's topic is reverse thrust. Now, the standard way to do reverse thrust, which works very well as the way that I've been doing it for a while, is you have a button, and usually a momentary switch for safety, and you hit it and hold it down, and as you do, you move the throttle, and the, th the motor will spin backwards. When you release it, the next time that you throttle up, the motor will spin forward. And that works very well, but a viewer named Hobie278 asked if we can do it all with the switch. So you hit the switch, the motor will spin up on its own backwards. Yes, we can. And I helped him out with it. We got his running very well, so um, I might as well share it with you guys. Anyways, here's what we did. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you the setup for doing a standard um uh, reverse thrust and that is just a start of the other method anyway so we might as well do it so this is a blank model I'm gonna go over here to model and I'm gonna go to the mixer and in the mixer over here you could tell us a blank model I'm gonna go ahead and create a new mix and now let's talk about free wing or most aftermarket ESC's that have reverse thrust they usually have a, a separate wire or a separate servo connector that is separate from the one that you plug into channel 3 for throttle. And on free wing ESCs, it's usually a single wire and you plug that into the signal of whatever free channel that you have. And that is just the trigger to trigger reverse thrust. So if, for example, this was a spectrum plane, and you have a Spectrum receiver and a Spectrum um, Avian ESC, you'll need a separate device called an ESC programmer to program and activate the reverse thrust and assign it to a channel. Um, if you have any other um, um, ESC, they usually have a, a lead that you can just plug in and boom, you're done. Sometimes you do have to program and activate reverse thrust in the ESC programming, but if your plane came with one, chances are it's already programmed, hopefully. So anyways, let's get into it. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that channel, say, 7 is going to be the reverse thrust trigger channel. So we're going to go ahead and in here, let's go ahead and add a channel. We'll do a free mix. Last position is fine. And a free mix, let's label it. Um, let's go ahead and label it reverse trigger. Now, the source for this is going to be your trigger switch. So for example, it's going to be here. So in this case, it's SH. You can use the two bat, one of the two momentary back buttons, but I do suggest doing a momentary switch for this. And the output would be the channel that you plugged it into. So for example, channel seven. That should be it. Now you can see the, the um, orange line at the end over there, and it goes to the other side it moves over. And when it goes from minus 100, that means it'll run normal. When it goes to positive 100, which is at the end over there, then it will go to reverse. It'll spin the motor backwards. And this does work very well. Um, there is a caveat to this, as we found out when um, Hobie and me were trying to figure out his setup. Reverse thrust on some, not all, Free wing ESCs need different values, not minus 100 and positive 100. All my free wing planes that I've had, minus 100 to positive 100 has worked just fine. In his case, we, um, we found out that in order for it to work, it needs to be down. So I'm going to get out of this. And I'm going to go to the outputs page. So one more out. And I'm going to go over here to outputs and this reverse trigger channel seven. If you find that your, your reversing does not work properly, try changing these values. And a number I believe that worked for us when me and Hobie were trying to figure this out for his particular plane. Again, on my planes, I've never had to do this. 100 has been, it was working fine. 
I think his numbers were 78 and 78.1. So minus 78 on the minimum. And for him, it was 70, probably 78 won't work just fine, but he did, his was 78.1. So for one, whatever reason, you have to reduce the output so it wasn't full range. Again, for my free wing planes, I never had to do that. 100 to 100 worked just fine. All right, so let's go back. So this is actually it. I'm going to go over here to Mixer. Now I'm going to hit the center button here so you can see what's happening in your mixes. Now, the throttle works. Your throttle cut still works because you set that up originally. And the only thing that reverse trigger does is flip over to the other side from one extreme minus 100 to positive 100. And that just triggers the ESC to, to uh, uh, reverse the motor direction. That's it. All right. So now let's go ahead and add the uh, stuff so that the throttle will automatically go up when um, you hit the reverse thrust. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to create a safety. So we have a throttle cut for our main throttle. But for the new mix, I want to do a throttle cut for that as well. I'm not going to use a throttle mix. I'm just going to do this with a regular free mix. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create the safety. So I'm going to do a logical switch over here. Let's add one. And let's call this rev thrust safety. Or safe, that's fine. So this is a safe for the reverse thrust. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a function of AND, A-N-D. The first value will be my throttle cut. So in this particular case, my throttle active is in this position. So SF down. You can do this with the uh, that new throttle cut that I made in one of the previous videos where you have to hit and hold down this, these two buttons. You just have to go, you know, like find what that is, um, the, the logical switch for that and put that logical switch in there. But now on value two, I want to go ahead and do my reverse trigger. So this one is SH down, and in order for down to work, I got to hold down that button and then get out of it by hitting return or getting out of the menu. If I just do this and then get out of it, it'll be SH up. So down, there it goes. So now we have SF and SH down as my conditions for that throttle to go up. Now, if you want, you can add more. So you can add other conditions, like for example, the gear needs to be down or the flaps need to be down or something like that so that 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 will not happen in the air. Like if the gear is down, um, you know, uh, this this will work. But if the gear is up and you're flying, you inadvertently hit the switch, it will not work. So you can add another condition over here by this plus symbol over here and add another one. In this case, I'm not going to, but you can do whatever conditions you want so that you know that that's when you want throttle, uh, when you hit that switch, you want the, the throttle to reverse. All right, so that's done. I'm going to go back to my mix. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a ramp up. I don't want the throttle to instant, instantaneously go up because I'm not sure if that's good for the motor. So we're going to go ahead and create a new one. Let's add a new mix. Let's do another free mix. We'll put it in the last position, and let's call this, oops, there. And let's call this one oops, Never do well with uh, typing. Okay, so this throttle um, slow, the source of it is going to be the same thing. It's going to be the switch. And the channel output is going to go to a dummy channel. So 64 is fine. And all this, this uh, mix is going to do is going to do a slowdown. So let's go ahead and add the slow in here. 
So I added a new, um, let's go back again. I think I went through that quick. So I added a new action and created this one over here. So in here now, you want to go ahead and do an action of slow. And the slow up I want is half a second. And a slow down, I'm not going to do a slow down. So it's just slow up of, of half a second, no slow down. Now, see what happens when I hit the switch. So there it is over there. To go all the way to the other side, it doesn't take half a second. It goes to the middle position half a second, and then another half a second to go to that position. And so that's one second. Let's take a look. One one thousand. So now that's a, so in other words, a half a second slowdown will equal one second in here. Okay, so there's my slowdown. And this is created on channel 64, which is a channel we're not using. I'm going to use that 64 um, for my other mix, which will create the uh, reverse um, throttle. So I'm going to go ahead and create another mix here. Add. Now this one's going to be a free mix, and it's going to, I'm going to put it right under throttle so we know that this is a throttle thing. Let's call this one, let's call this one reverse throttle. So over here, reverse throttle. There it goes. Now, the source for this is now going to be that channel 64 with a slowdown in it. The output for this is going to be channel 3. Now, the only thing, or there's a couple more things we've got to do, but one of them is operation. So this is the way that it interacts with anything else. So right now at Operation Additive, it'll add to the other mix on Channel 3, which is the Throttle Mix. I don't want that. I want it to replace that mix. So in other words, the, um, the regular Throttle won't work at all. So that's pretty much it, except now I want to do my Throttle Cut. I'm doing that in Active Condition. So this is my, my fancy pants um, throttle cut that I built in logical switches. And it's the reverse thrust saved right there. All right, I think we're done. So I'm going to get out of this. And I'm going to go to, so from the mix menu, from this menu over here, if I hit this button over here, it shows me all my mixes that I created. So over there, channel three is your regular throttle. And this will also be the output for um, the reverse thrust. Over here is the trigger for reverse thrust, and over here is just a slowdown. So that's just a slow. When I ever hit this button, it'll do a slowdown across. But the reverse trigger, so it should trigger the reverse, and then the throttle should move in one second to the top. Okay? So let's double check. There it goes. Now, if those conditions aren't met for that thing, it will not work. So I'm going to do my throttle cut. Let's make sure my throttle cut still works normally. It does. And I hit this, and looking at channel 3, so the other ones work, the reverse trigger works, and this works, but it doesn't matter because your throttle's not going to move. There it goes. And let's um, check again. There it goes, and it's on. Throttle works normally. Throttle cut on, and throttle cut on. It'll just go back. You can do all you want, but looking at channel 3, it does not move. So there you go. That's it. Now, one more thing that we can add to this that's actually kind of interesting is we can turn off that mix with that safety and have a regular traditional throttle as well, or reverse throttle. So let me show you. I'm going to go over here. Let's go back to that logic switch and edit. Let's add one more condition. This switch needs to be in the up position. So, whoops, there we go. That switch needs to be in the up position. So that switch is in the up position. And everything should work just fine. Let me go back to that, that mix page again. Now, that switch is in the up position. Throttle cut is off. And it works. 
But here's something that's interesting. If I deactivate that, and I still hit my throttle cut, or my, my throttle reverse, right now I have a normal throttle reverse. So I have my switch hit, and my throttle reverse works normally. And that's this will be kind of cool because your default mode would be here. You come in for your landing, and you know once you once your wheels touch the ground, you hit your reverse. The plane um, starts slowing down more. Now you're taxiing back, and as you taxi back, you are just about to hit the wall, and you want to go ahead and reverse. Now if I hit this normally, then it's going to shoot backwards because you're going slow. But if I go ahead and flip this, now I have control of my reverse. I hope that makes sense. So I've got two modes now. I've got automatic mode where it'll just go over. So watch channel three. That's what's important. Here's my automatic mode. And then now I flip the switch down. And now in this instance, I have normal throttle reverse where I have to bring it throttle so if I just have to back up slowly you know because there's a rock in the way or something I can just do it this way instead of using that full throttle reverse well um, that's it guys um, if you want you can add um, like voices to this for throttle reverse and everything else I'm not going to do that I thought this I think this was a long enough of a video and voices are actually relatively simple hopefully you guys know how to do that if not you can look at one of my previous videos where I've done that so um, that's it. Anyways, um, thank you guys for watching. If you do have any questions, feel free to email me at alt.rc.air at gmail.com or of course you can leave a comment in the video um, and I will try to get back to you as, as quickly as I can. I'm usually pretty quick, um, you know, like if, if you catch me at the right time. So um, that's it guys. Take care.